Hey guys, my name's Marina and I'm a creative portrait photographer based in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today I'm going to be taking you along on my creative process of how I do self-portraits with my Nikon Z5. Let's do it! In quarantine, I wasn't able to shoot portraits of other people like I normally do, so I started experimenting with self-portraits. At first, it was really challenging trying to figure out how I could be in front of the camera and behind it at the same time, but with a lot of practice, it's become something that I really love doing. I get inspired by all sorts of things, like movies or music, fashion, magazines, even just random props and objects that I can find lying around my house. The other day, I was actually in a store and they had these like single Edison light bulbs just hanging from the ceiling on individual wires, and I just loved the way it looked and I thought it could be really cool to kind of incorporate something similar into one of my photo shoots. So that was my idea and I could see the shot in my head already. I just wanted to visualize it on paper. So I illustrated a drawing of what I wanted the shot to look like with the right backdrop color and placement of the light bulbs in different distances in front of the camera along with an illustration of myself. And even though I'm not an illustrator, drawing out my ideas always helps me stick to my ideas while I'm shooting so that the shot will turn out exactly how I imagine it. So if you haven't tried this method when planning your photo shoots, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so now I'm getting super excited about this shoot. So I already have C stands that I can set up in front of the camera and hang my different light bulbs from on wires. So I just need to go find some light bulbs, some wire and a backdrop. So let's go to the craft store. Today I'm going to be using the Nikon Z5 mirrorless camera with the 24 to 50 millimeter lens. So when I shoot self-portraits, I usually do it one of two ways. If your camera has Wi-Fi capability, you can connect to the camera's mobile app to trigger the shutter remotely. The Z5 has Wi-Fi and is compatible with the Snapbridge app, so that's what I'll be using today to take the photos. It's really awesome because you can see yourself in live view, so you can pose, change the lighting, change the camera settings, all just from your mobile device while the camera is on the tripod. I love having live view when I'm shooting self-portraits so that I can know exactly how the shot is looking while I'm composing it. I'm not a model by any means, but being able to see myself makes posing a lot easier for me. I usually just try out a bunch of different angles, positions, framing, and facial expressions until I feel like I got the shot that I envisioned. Sometimes it takes a while to get there, but the cool thing about self-portraits is that you can take your time since you're able to be on your own schedule. Another option is to tether with a cord straight from the camera to a laptop. I won't be using this method today, but it's also a great option for self-portraits, especially when you want to see yourself from the larger screen. I hope this video taught you a little bit about my creative process for self-portraits. The reason I love photography so much is because there's no better feeling than having such a simple idea evolve into something artistic and creative. And when it turns out exactly how you imagined, it feels like magic. 